In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create acrylic gel medium transfers. I gave this process a try a couple of months ago and have been totally hooked on it ever since. In fact, I gave two of them as Christmas gifts. If you're interested in trying something new that's hands-on and truly one-of-a-kind unique, you'll want to give this process a try. But I might as well warn you now that the process is extremely addicting. Acrylic gel medium transfers allow you to transfer virtually any image you've printed out onto a flat smooth surface by use of a transparent acrylic medium. The beauty of transferring an image to wood is that the lighter values of the image take on the characteristics of the underlying wood grain, resulting in a unique one-of-a-kind art piece. This project can take a couple of hours to complete depending on the size of the image being transferred, so plan out your time accordingly. You may want to carry it out in two steps by applying your transfer to wood one day and then removing the paper from the wood the following day. To get started, you'll need these items. A laser print of the image you want to transfer, a piece of wood, acrylic gel medium, a soft brush, a foam or rubber rayer, a sponge, and a container of water. Before printing out your image, make sure you reversed it so it will be correctly oriented in your final product. This can be done by using the flip horizontal command in Adobe Photoshop or similar imaging program. This isn't necessary if you don't have text in your image or you don't mind your image being backwards. It's all up to you. To get started, apply an even coat of acrylic gel medium to the wood, making sure to cover the entire area where the image will be placed. Don't apply the medium too thickly and take care not to miss any areas or you could have problems later. Now, carefully place the print face down onto the wood. Remove any air bubbles by pressing down with your fingers. Use the brayer to flatten out the print evenly, being sure not to miss the edges. If you still have air bubbles after using the brayer, try using your fingers again to flatten them out. Allow to dry a few hours before continuing. After the print has dried, moisten the sponge and carefully moisten the entire surface of the paper. Once the paper seems evenly moistened, begin removing the paper from the wood using your finger. You'll start getting a feel for this as you proceed, but go easy at first to avoid removing any of the image. Occasionally re-moisten the paper with a sponge or your finger as you proceed to keep it from drying out. After a while it may seem that you removed all the paper, but you'll probably be wrong. If the image looks dull as it dries out, it still has a thin coating of paper that needs to be removed. Be patient and start working on your transfer until it looks completely free of dull white areas. There may be some areas that are stubborn and particularly hard to remove. Try using a moistened sponge to gently remove these areas. After the transfer is completely dry, apply a coat of medium over the entire piece of wood. If there are any dull areas remaining on your transfer, there's a pretty good chance that this will remove most, if not all of them. When you're finished, you will hopefully have created a one-of-a-kind piece worthy of all of your efforts. Here's a transfer I gave my wife for Christmas. The shot was taken of us as we crossed Abbey Road in London, just as the Beatles did in 1969. I made the oak frame by using simple miter cuts, wood glue, and then staining it to add some contrast. Suffice to say, she loved it. Well, that's about it for this lesson. Have a wonderful new year. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.